Hello guys, in this video, let's understand how we can handle app config settings during deployment slot switch. So let's first understand how our app can break if we don't handle app config settings during this slot switch. And then let's understand the solution, which is really simple. So guys, we are in paint app and if you see, we have created this app service that is my HR app in Azure. So this box it is our app service and internally if you see it contains two slots that is one is this production slot and one is this staging slot now this production slot it points to this production url and this staging slot it points to this staging url now obviously this production slot it will contain app config setting for database connection string and it will point to the production db right so i will say production db so again, this is app config setting. Okay. So it contains connection string for production DB. So it points to this production DB. And similarly, this staging slot, it will also contain app config setting for database connection string, which will point to staging DB. And again, this is also app con app con app config setting. Now, when we develop a new feature, we first deploy it in this staging slot, right? So we test it and if everything works, we simply switch this staging slot with this production slot and this production slot with this staging slot. So thus this staging slot, it is now our production slot. And obviously now this production slot, so this is our new production slot and it will point to this production URL. Similarly, this production slot, it will become staging slot. Now, can you visualize the problem? See, this is, this is our new production slot. And let's say this production slot, it's still pointing, pointing to this staging DB. And this is our staging slot and it is still pointing to the production DB. So that's the problem, right? So ideally what should have happened is, let's say this is our app config setting, which is specific to production. We should have tied it to the production slot. So we'll say it should have been tied to production slot. So what I mean is irrespective of whether this slot is production slot or whether this slot is production slot guys of course i mean as we keep on switching so any one of these slots can be production slot so irrespective of which of these two slots is production slot this production db config setting it should always be tied to the production slot so whenever this is production slot this part this setting it will be tied to this slot if this is production slot then this setting it should be tied to this production slot so ideally that should have happened but by default that's not the behavior okay so so that's the important thing we have to take care when we do such slot switchings okay and now let's understand the solution which is really simple so guys we are in azure portal and let's open our app service let's go down to this environment variables let's go to this connection strings and here I will say add. So guys, to avoid the issue which we just discussed, the only thing we have to do is we have to tick this checkbox that is deployment slot setting. What that means is any such setting, see either we can add this connection string or any such app settings as well. Okay. So for now, let's assume connection string. So when we select this checkbox, it means that this particular app config setting, it will be tied to that particular slot only. So let's assume we are adding this for production slot. So what that means is say we have two, three, four slots and whichever slot acts as a production slot, this config setting or this connection string setting, it will be always tied with that production slot only.